Hello, hello. All right. So within our subject called life, we are working on a thing called a chapter called power of indifference. Okay, what exactly is indifference, and why is it so important? So let's be. I'm going to be frank here. Okay, men tend to be more indifferent than women. Okay, so a lot of women may feel attacked personally on this, and there's a biological reason for that. We can we can get into that later on. But basically, women or uh, for women, it makes a lot of things make a difference. Okay, and they are trained to. uh th- make things matter they are trained to care about what other people feel they are trained to care about uh, how other people will react to them and therefore they become more different in the sense of they become they care about everything and therefore adjust themselves what is important here is to realize the power of indifference and what it can do to you now what exactly is indifference and why should you be indifferent and what should you be indifferent to okay when when you care about something right you should care about something that matters to you that makes sense to you and that uh, that is stopping you from working but most things most stimuli that is thrown your way are just basically words right most of you are not beaten let's be honest okay most of you are not uh, harassed or hurt or this like it's mostly words mostly people saying something insinuating something okay and trying to brainwash you into a certain way of thought so that's where indifference comes into the fray indifference is mostly other people's problems okay other people have a certain issue with you being in a certain way okay and most of them will just verbalize it they will not do much about it you have to just eliminate that completely you have to realize that firstly firstly these are just words and words have absolutely no meaning they have absolutely no significance it is that you and i have decided on a certain meaning and therefore are coming to this idea of words and they are saying it's it to me to hurt me it has no meaning why should it have meaning it's whatever meaning i choose it should have but you must be careful of one thing eliminate danger okay if someone is trying to actively throw a spanner into your works or trying to destroy the way you work that's where you have to eliminate danger but even then even then it shouldn't make a difference to you don't care about it just logically eliminate it okay it's like uh there's a snake and you're screaming oh, what's the point you're not going to achieve anything by screaming you have to walk back you have to know how to take on the snake you have to either put your hands up walk away whatever you can there are various strategies to take care of a snake the moment you moment it makes a difference to you the predator will realize that this person is scared and will go for an attack it's as simple as that so eliminate danger when you are talking about other people's problems don't care about what other people say but if someone is actively trying to take you down eliminate danger okay and, and even that shouldn't make a difference to you another form of indifference okay is resilience okay when you're re- when uh, you're you you have a certain objective or uh, you don't have some money and suddenly you become poor or something and you are going to go, you have to live on the street live on the street so what you should be indifferent to it indifference is a form of both concentration and meditation now that we can talk about in later how how it can be both of these things but it is a form of concentration that means you have a certain objective and you don't care about what other people are saying so that is a kind of concentration and you're simply looking at things as they are eliminating the dangers okay and doing everything nonchalantly without a care in the world that is real indifference